Hello, and welcome to this video on how to automatically restrict a blog post in Confluence. Now you might think an automation could just do this for us. Unfortunately, there is no way to restrict a blog post using an automation. So we can't use that very easy way we could say automatically restrict a page. Instead, we're gonna have to first make that blog post as a page, which can be automatically restricted, and then convert it into a blog post. Let me show you what that looks like. Here we are in Confluence Cloud Premium, but this should be the same in data center or in enterprise. And the first thing I wanna do is open up automation. In here, I'll just click create rule in the top. And first I need a trigger, something that will tell the automation to start. And in this case, it will just be when a page is published. I'll just click on page published and there we go. I'll click next. And then I wanna add a condition. So I don't want this to apply to every page, only to certain pages. And in this use case, I'm gonna say that every time I make a blog post, I'll put the word blog at the start of it. Now this could be any word, but it's something so the automation knows restrict this page, not every page. I'll click on AI condition and I'll change does content body relate to title. Basically this is asking does some word show up in the title? And so I'll put in the word blog. Now it's capital. This is important to remember later. If I put in the lowercase b, it won't trigger. So I'll click next. And then I'll add one more component. So it's saying this page is created. Does the word blog show up in the title? If it does, do something. And here, I'm going to find my restrict page. And then I'll change that restriction to only certain people can view or edit and add whatever user or group should be able to view it, maybe HR management. And maybe that same group could edit it optionally. So next, I'll just click next. And there's my rule. So this is step one in automatically restricting my blog posts. When a page is published, if the word blog with a capital B shows up in it, restrict it to a group. And then I'll just turn this on. I'll give it some name. and I'll turn it on. Next I'll do is just make a page. So I'll click create a page and then I'll just give it a title. I'll make sure the word blog shows up in there and I'll fill out whatever text or information I need to. Now this does give us one advantage over blogs. We could start this with a template. So I might have a template for my blog posts and I would just have to remember to name it blog at the start or somewhere in the title. Let's pretend I've completed my blog post. I'll just click publish. And I don't actually have to change anything because as soon as I publish this, that automation is gonna pick up this page and restrict it. So you'll notice that it's not restricted, but if I refresh this, that lock is just gonna change. Now this happens very, very quickly. But if I go back to my automation menu here on the left and click on audit log, this will show me every automation that's run, and I can see that that restrict blog pages has. If I click show more, it's going to tell me what it did. A page was created. It has this condition, so it added that restriction for me. Now if I go back to this page, all I have to do is click on more actions and click convert to blog. And this will ensure that this blog post has been restricted. Again, unfortunately, I cannot do this automatically with an automation because it doesn't have the ability to restrict blog posts right now. But this process of making a page that is auto-restricted and then converting it has a similar effect. The only thing we have to remember is make sure that keyword is in the title. I hope you found this useful. I know it might not be exactly what you were hoping for and just a very quick answer, but this will ensure your content is restricted and controlled to whatever group or individual you want. I really hope you found it useful. Please drop a comment with more questions, you know, like this, share it with your friends. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in another one of these videos soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.